Well, it's an interesting thing because I, I think the biggest story in the world right now is energy. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people, there, there was almost this idea in 2020 during the COVID lockdowns, you know, where we saw uh, a real reduction in the amount of energy used. I, I think there was almost this idea that the, there'd been a huge success associated with the uh, environmental revolution and that everything would move to, you know, sort of solar cells and uh, wind turbines. And suddenly we're seeing the extent to which the world really, really, like almost global poverty actually is heavily tied to just the availability of energy. You know, like th things like people don't realize that fertilizer, like nitrogen fertilizer is just a function of natural gas. You know, like it, it, the nitrogen comes from the air, but we mm. use a huge amount of uh, methane or natural gas to make it. You know, people... Uh, you know, how businesses run, how uh, ev everything, all of our costs, like if the cost of our food, the cost of imports, all of these things are tied to the cost of energy. And the world is right now realizing um, kind of how reliant we are on, you know, fossil fuels, d despite the fact that people don't want to be reliant on them. And that is kind of the almost the, the question of our times is kind of how how the world will deal with this. Yeah. So that, that actually reminds me like uh, this is something that's especially uh, a hot topic uh, in, in Europe. Uh, like, and if I can relate it to the market, uh, the emerging market crisis, so sort of there you had like the dollar tide is receding and now you can see who was swimming naked, you know, that expression. Uh, we yeah. might actually observe something similar with uh, the energy crisis, like, for example, you know, with a huge increases in, in energy prices, we can now see that Germany uh, is now under fire, at least in uh, in Europe specifically, that they were energy wise living beyond beyond their means or swimming naked, whereas France is weathering the storm much better uh, because they, they still had all of their nuclear reactors. Yeah, well, when energy was cheap, it seemed to to not matter, you know. And uh, then all of a sudden, um, you know, wh when it becomes scarce, when it becomes expensive, suddenly it matters a lot. And the German situation is kind of a wild one. Like, I think they even still plan, like they have three remaining nuclear reactors that they plan on shutting down in, in December. That That's kind of a, a, bit, a bit of a wild thing. 